What up guys, this is Wild Rocker, and guess what? Happy motherfucking Halloween, because I'm fucking having a blast, and it's fucking awesome. Now nah, I'm just kidding, like, nobody's fucking, like, trick-or-treating around here, and it sucks. No, I mean, but for real, though, like, I always wondered why, like, my neighborhood never fucking trick-or-treated. I don't know, I guess they're pussies, I don't know. But anyways, I'm dressed up, I'm ready to go, I'm fucking wanna go and out, you know, and have some fun tonight, so... Uh, preferably get the shit scared out of me or, you know, scare the shit out of somebody either way, you know, as long as it's like, you know, not like a four year old kid, then I'd feel like, you know, kind of bad because I'm like, oh, I'm a dickhead, you know, it's, and, you know, but anyway, anyways, so what is up guys? Uh, my character discussion for Mortal Kombat today is actually going to be a fucking noob cybot and I felt it was fucking necessary for having noob cybot as a Halloween special, you know? And it's just, I mean, come on, even the fun, all the way down to fucking colors and how he was created and, you know, he, I mean, he was, he's trying to kill his brother for God's sakes and that's pretty fucked up. So, you know, I'm just thinking he was a definitely, you know, obvious choice. I mean, if not him, then I'm just going to do Shinnok, but you know, like I said, I mean, come on, Noob Sarbat's like the fucking king of darkness, you know, pretty much. And it just fits perfectly for Halloween. So I did Noob Sarbat. Now... Let's talk about uh, Noob Saiba here for a second. Okay. Is this new Mortal Kombat, is he? Is this Sub-Zero in this new Mortal Kombat, is that actually Bai Han or is it Kua Yang? And that makes me think, you know, if it's Bai Han, did, you know, a lot of suspicions are, is this, you know, Noob Saiba before he changed into Noob Saiba? Like, is this the original Sub-Zero? Or is it, you know, his brother? Or is it a whole new Sub-Zero that we've never seen before? And, you know, my my thoughts are it could possibly be by Han. I mean, I'm not def I'm not ruling that out. It's just, you know, with with the story with Quile or Kwa Ying uh, in uh, in Mortal Kombat 9, I mean, they kind of changed him to a cyborg, you know, kind of kind of deal. And, you know, hopefully just because of the negative feedback that I heard, um, hopefully they don't try to do that again. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have a problem with him turning into a cyborg at all. I did. I didn't have a problem with that. Um, but as for you know him, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have something in store for him if he's in the game. You know, so it makes me think. You know, is this by Han and is this like the original Sub Zero? You know, that we haven't seen since Mortal Kombat One. And a lot of people are like, oh yeah, we've seen Sub Zero. We've seen him in Mortal Kombat Two, and Mortal Kombat Three, and Mortal Kombat Four. It's not the fucking same one, guys. I know, I know, I know. We all thought it was the same one, you know, before we, we realized that they were brothers, and you know, and so on and so on. So we were like, oh shit, you know. So it was like a total mind fuck to us as well. So it was like, oh shit, you know. But anyways, so yeah, um, I, you know, a lot of people are like, um, you know, with how dark and gritty this game is, and you know, I too myself uh, said the same thing. About how dark and you know gory and uh, and it kind of even like like fucked up like I mean fucked up in a good way. This game is coming along. Um, it just it makes me think that you know it, it's it's just necessary to have noobs sorry about it in this one. And yeah, I am a fan, but that's not the reason I think that should he should be in. I'm just saying you know overall. I mean look at the fucking designs and the, and the details that they did with Quan Chi for God's sakes. Uh, he looks like something out of Hellraiser. I mean. I would have never thought that they would do that kind of design with Quan Chi. And it makes me think, you know, with all these different designs that they're, you know, like, having out for these characters, like, the, like really down and dark and gritty, you know, it, Noob Saibot just got to be one of those guys that they just go completely apeshit with designing with and, you know, just awesome. Now, I mean, how can you make a, a person that just wears black, you know, scary? Well, I mean, it also depends on, you know, how they do it. Like, in Mortal Kombat Armageddon's uh, primary outfit, like the one that you see in this picture above, it was, you know, I think it was a reference to Dark Vader, because even in his intro, when he, like, shakes his fist and he's like, Fear me! You know, it was kind of like the same exact thing that Dark Vader did in uh, Star Wars movies. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, I mean, it, it kind of resembles uh, Dark Vader, I'm just saying. But anyways, you know, like, um, a lot of people are like, well, what's your favorite costume in Noob Saibot? Um, and my favorite costume was actually in his, um, I think it was his Armageddon, uh, yeah, either his Armageddon or MK Deception look, where he was, like, completely, like, have, like, an oily texture to him, and then his second one where he was human, but he had, like, a, uh, like, a black outfit, kind of like a, like a vest with, like, silver buttons on the side, I think it was, and, um, you know, a lot of people never really checked out the crypts and all that stuff, you know, from back in the day. 
And, you know, some people know, some people really didn't like the Crips, you know, which I liked them. But in there, there was a little secret about uh, Havoc. And, you know, the original costume for Havoc was meant for Noob Saibot. So I thought that would have been a nice look. Um, going through the crypt and everything, and actually looking at the pictures, they had, like, three other different designs for Noob Saibot. And there was one where he was, like, in a, um, I guess, like, a ninja palette swap. But instead of it looking like a generic palette swap, I mean, it had, like, like blades on the side of his shoulders. It had blades on his legs and on the, like, edges of his arms where his elbows are. And it was, like, kind of like a leatherish black looking. And I thought that look was fucking awesome. And I would love to see that kind of look in uh, Mortal Kombat X if he was in. So, what's your guys' thoughts about Noob Saibot? I mean, I fucking love him to death. Um, I've always wanted to, uh, you know, master him and everything like that. Uh, I've always wanted to, you know, try to get better. I didn't want to be one of those D-bags that just fucking spammed, you know, the um, the teleport. Or, you know, spammed the um, the clones, you know. And, and, I, and I, I mean, I, if the people don't know how to play with them, I get why they would use that. But, I mean, come on, if you're smart enough... To realize, you know, oh, hey, you know, I can actually do a fucking combo, and, you know, and then you just do that. I mean, it's kind of shit. So, anyways, uh, <laughs> but, I mean, I've always wanted to do, um, you know, nicer things, you know, and, you know, just overall, you know, know him, like, all the way around. That sounded weird. Um, you know, as as a character, you know, kind of like I did with, like, Cyrax, Kung Lao, uh, Katana, and so on and so on. So, uh, what's your guys' thoughts about Noob Saibot? I mean, would you like to have him in in Mortal Kombat X? Would you like to have him in as possibly a download content? Um, and me and my, uh, these guys on the Mortal Kombat community, we were actually just talking about this the other day. And we were talking about how exactly, you know, he died in Mortal Kombat, uh, Mortal Kombat 9 story. Well, some people were saying that he never really died. He was just sucked into Solonado, you know, from that whole epic part of that story. And... In a way, I can honestly see... I mean, I, I mean, we did see that, but I mean, I thought that he was torn apart. I thought that his whole body was torn apart in the Solnado, because I'm pretty sure nothing survives in a Solnado. But they were like, no, no, no. They said it, it was showing us, you know, where he went, but, you know, they, they said that, you know, we didn't see any proof of, of him actually dying. And I swear, I mean, I might, I might have to play a story again, because um, I, I really I can't really, really, um, really not remember for the life of me, because I thought his, uh, I thought his body was ripped up to pieces. I'm not too sure about that though. Um, but yeah, we'll have to actually check that out because I, like I said, I swear I thought his his body was ripped into pieces as it was going up, you know, in the soul, in the soul meadow. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I definitely like this look and uh, the whole Mortal Kombat uh, deception look and Mortal Kombat Armageddon definitely. Um, a lot of people are like, if he's in, do you think that you know his buddy uh, Smoke? you know, have the whole, you know, tag Noob Smoke uh, Alliance thing going on. And, which is kind of funny someone actually asked me that. Because as I was looking around for information just the other day, and today, by the way, um, we, there was actually some pictures of Mortal Kombat X where people had made, I'm assuming, uh, fan-made images of Noob and Smoke being in the game. Now, as for, you know, a tag kind of deal, I don't know. But, it could, I mean, as, like, I don't really believe that, that if, if Smoke and Noob Saibot were in, I really don't believe that they would be a tag kind of, kind of duo, because we got Farah and Tor, but, like I said, it's still not possible, I mean, it's still possible that they could have, like, a tag combo going on if they were both in this game, but you're also confirming, you know, Smoke, which we have no proof of, and, you know, Noob Saibot, which we also have no proof of. The only proof that I've gotten so far is that in Kotal Khan's, you know, uh, fighting styles and variations, there was like a gray slash whitest ninja um, that was beaten to a pulp by Kotal Khan. And that's the only information I've got of smoke or even an appearance, if you want to call it that, of smoke uh, being in Mortal Kombat X. Now, as for Noob Saibot, I have not seen anything, but recently I've actually seen these, like, you know, um, I guess not posters, but uh, renders of characters. And that was one of Noob Saibot and also Smoke. And as real as it looked like when we saw the Reptile one and, you know, the Tremor one, you know, they could always be fake ones. You know, there's, I mean, people are probably, you know, making fake, you know, posters or designs of this game already, you know? I mean, hell, I remember when we played Mortal Kombat 9, they, we, they were already making, like, uh, what was it game covers for Mortal Kombat 10? And that was when Mortal Kombat 9 just came out. So it was like, you know, that people are already expecting the game that wasn't even existing yet. So I don't know, anything can happen. 
So, I mean, as for, you know, Mo uh, Noob Sarbot's moveless in Mortal Kombat X, if, if he was to be in, you know, what would you guys like to see? I would like to see his, you know, kind of ninja, uh, ninja stars back. Um, I thought that was kind of pretty cool as his trademark, you know, as for a, uh, like a projectile. Um, but as for his actual weapon that he would use, like, from hand-to-hand -hand combat, please, for the love of God, NRS, if you are listening to this, bring back his scythe. We missed that in Mortal Kombat 4, and it just feels necessary from a dark-ass character that resembles or makes references to the fucking Grim Reaper and made a reference of Dark Vader in Mortal Kombat 9 that it should be necessary to have him have a scythe as a weapon. And yes, we've seen it in Mortal Kombat 4, and that was great, and we want more, you know, and... We get that you guys are trying to put, like, a ninja kind of feel on him, but then after Mortal Kombat 9 released, you kind of gave everyone and each, you know, uniqueness and individuality. And that's what we want from Noob Zybot. We want him to have a, fu you know, a dark, brutal, fucking psychotic mindset, you know, similar to Havoc's even, and, you know, just completely fucking murder anybody and everybody. That's why, that's why I chose him today. Is because this guy is fucking ruthless. He is. He does not give a shit about family. He does not give a shit about friends. He does not give a shit about anything except for what he wants. And he's going to get it his way or kill people in the process. So I think a fucking scythe, a big ass scythe with a huge blade, you know, it would just fit him perfectly. And, ima you know, and imagine him being in Mortal Kombat X. I mean, how would he, you know, what would his variations be? Would he have a variation dedicated to nothing but shadow clones? Would he have one, you know, dedicated to projectiles? You know, it just, I mean, there's so many different possibilities. So it just, it really kind of excites me because he is one of my favorites. Uh, as well as uh, Reptile is too, even though I suck with Reptile in Mortal Kombat 9. <laughs> but, you know, it just makes me think, you know, because a lot of people always wanted, you know, even back in uh, Trilogy days, people have always wanted a Noob Saibot that had kind of like an oily kind of like texture. And from MK9 seeing like his Shadow Clones and whatnot, they were on the right track. I mean, even when he would do his like um, little, um, I guess, stance or whatnot during fights, you know, when they would get up. Uh, you know, for, like, round two, and he would, like, teleport away and just melt into, like, this, like, oil kind of substance. They were on the right track with that. Now, if they could actually, you know, put more into that as for texture and, you know, instead of it making it look kind of blocky, you know, actually making it kind of look like an oilish, you know, like, wet texture for him, I think that would be fucking amazing. Now, I know... A lot of people don't agree with that, but a uh, majority, you know, that I've talked to definitely want something like that for him. You know, as for, you know, basing him on his, you know, Shadow Clones and, you know, the Brotherhood of Shadow. And, you know, that also reminds me, you know, what the hell happened to the Brother of Shadow? You know, I mean, yeah, I get that he was pretty much like the, the number one guy in, in, in the Brotherhood. But seriously, what the hell happened to the Brotherhood? And was Smoke part of the Brotherhood? You know, because I, I, no, I have no clue, you know, and... Was the Brotherhood even around when Taven and Dagon were kind of doing their quests as in the saving, you know, the worlds from Armageddon? And how come we never heard of them since, you know, back in Shaolin Monks and, you know, I think a little bit of Armageddon? Um, you know, but ever since, like, MK9, we've not seen anything from them. So it's like, did they die out? Were they destroyed by another clan, maybe? You know, possibly the Shirai Ryu or the Lin Kuei? You know, or or do they just kind of like hide and wait for next, you know, time that they need to, you know, prepare and go into battle, you know, with another clan or, you know, try to take over even a realm maybe. So, but I don't know. But yeah, so what's your guys' opinions about Noob Saibot? Would you like him in, in Mortal Kombat X? Would you like him in as at least a down constant? Or preferably, if not either, would you like to actually see him in as in the story? Now, I hope I get to see him in the story, but as much as I would like that, I would honestly love... For him to actually be one of the actual characters and the roster of MKX because it's just you know it's just fucking perfect for this game. I mean you can I mean if you close your eyes you can actually see him walking you know on the character selection screen and facing Sub Zero or Scorpion or whoever it may be. It's just fucking necessary. It's perfect. It's, it just has to be. So anyways, this has been Wild Rocker and my next hint will be for my next character. Um, 
it's going to be a deadly alliance. So it could be Shang Tsung, it could be Shinnok, or it could be Quan Chi. We never know. So anyways, I will see you guys next time in the next video. Peace out. Bye.